Hi, it's me, Crystal, here at the Mystical Moon for Crystal's Corner. Thank you for joining me today. Just bear with me for a minute while I get to where I need to. Okay. Um, <clears throat> again, thank you for joining me. Hi, Deborah. It's nice to see you today. And just trying to get everything working the way it should. I think that is good. All right, so today is December 28th, and 2012, and today I'm talking about the four elements. And the reason why I'm, I'm talking about the four elements is because they are um, important when you are doing a lot of work with setting your intentions. Um, a lot of people always ask us, oh, what's good for, you know, what herb is good for this or what element is good for this, which is why I thought this was a good topic for this show today because the different elements are um, very much a part of setting, setting intentions, whether it's setting sacred space or creating an altar or, um, just recently I made I made candles and I said you know which which elements would be good for um, setting my pro setting up my intention for prosperity or good luck or bringing in um, happiness so um, like I said different different um, elements are good for for each of those to include in what you do and since the new year is upon us it is also a good time to know what your intention for the new year is I mean, not so much a new year resolution but a setting your intention for what you want to accomplish for yourself comparing your growth from the previous year to this year and setting your intention so how the four elements will help you to set your intention is the focus of this um, show today as well as um, the how I use it in alchemical healing. And alchemical healing is one of the healing methods or modalities that I do incorporate in my healing sessions when I do energy healing here at the Mystical Moon. For those of you who don't know where we're located, we are in Fort Myers, Florida, and the address is 16301 South Tamiami Trail, and the phone number is 239-939-3339. And our web address is themysticalmoon.ning.com. So Ning is N-I-N-G. And those of you who want to get to know a little bit more about me, you can go to Crystal Childs, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-C-H-I-L-D-S dot Weebly, W-E-E-B-L-Y. Dot com. Okay, so four elements are useful with symbolism. Why is it important or why should we know about these things? Um, as human beings, we do a lot with symbolism. If we think of um, fire, we think of heat. What does fire do? It changes things. Um, it transforms things. It changes them from, it, it, it burns out the old and worn out so that the new can come in. So if we think of what fire symbolizes and what we want to um, use with fire, then fire would definitely be something that I would look to if I wanted some type of change in my life. So anything that symbolized um, fire. Um, so let's see here the element of fire I, I always start in the south i and i don't know why but i do i even wrote it i wrote it starting with the north in my notes but fire always comes up first for me which like fire is the south fire is your creative spark it's what it's what makes you um it has your passion it has your um creativity your will what you want to bring into your life the Archangel that is good to work with with the fire um, element is Archangel Michael. And if you think about that, that makes sense because Archangel Michael, when he comes in, he feels hot. 
he actually came into a reading with one of my um, clients yesterday and she said oh my goodness it's so hot in here and I said yes that's because Archangel Michael is here some women say oh he's you know it's um it just feels almost like a hot flash but that that's the fire element that isn't that works with um, Archangel Michael um, it's associated with and this makes sense fire is associated with the season of summer uh, some of the uh, animals that are associated with um, I'm sorry I gotta open the chat here just in case Deborah has a question so Deborah if you if Deborah or anybody else that's watching um, ha if you have a question and you want to interact with me live here you would have to do that if to interact live you have to do it through the mystical moon dot ning dot com click on life on the moon and then you would go into the main room to type in your questions or comments in order to interact with us live here um, so of course fire has to do with with the color red um, and the signs of Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. If you think of those fire signs that are around you, the, the people that are the fire signs, Sagittarius is you know the fire sign about about change, always moving, always always active, doing things. Um, uh, so that's in those of you who are attracted to those fire signs, is it because you are an earth sign that doesn't necessarily like to be moved or an air sign maybe the Sagittarius around you is attracted to you because you're an air sign and you give it the you give fuel to its fire you can make it rage or you can make it be nice and comfortable um, or perhaps like Sagittarius and Cancer Cancer is that water sign and the Sagittarians and the Cancers sometimes butt heads because the water can put the fire out and the fire can heat up that water to boiling so if you think about these elements and the way they fit into our lives there's a lot of different um, things that are kind of common sense but they really do make a um, big difference once you know about um, what what they uh, what they can do for you so we talked about the power love um, the masculinity of fire and the desire and strong will of fire um, so that's basically what fire is all about if you think about if you, you know you you burn a candle for fire um, to symbolize fire on your altar uh, you can even just have a candle unlit you can also have um, an animal that would represent the fire element which would be um, some, some people show it as a lion some people show it as um, a, the lizard or the salamander so that's something that you can think of, think about as well when you're trying to incorporate the element of fire what which animals represent fire which um, uh, moon or which chakra would be good so if you think about it the solar solar plexus that makes sense the beginning of solar plexus sol is soul which means sun which means you know which is equivalent to fire so the solar plexus is good with the fire um, element as well also the full moon think about it the full moon is a great time to manifest um, changes and it's a full moon right now for those of you who are watching it's a full moon right now it's a great time to manifest those changes in your life um, and bring in abundance and bring in prosperity and bring in positive change um, so and what are our fire signs? I'm not sure if we went over that thing yes and we did the Aries the Sages and the Leos those are all of the fire signs when it comes to astrology so that's what the fire element has to do with to move on to the water element the water element is the feminine energy so we went from the masculine energy of the fire to the water element which is feminine and feminine energy is basically you just think about it the emotions cleansing healing um, it's also associated with the color blue 
and this all makes sense. Archangel Gabriel is the archangel of um, associated with water. So, and Archangel Gabriel, if you think about that, um, Gabriel is the angel that was um, known to tell Mary that she was pregnant with with Jesus. He, um, Archangel, since because of that, Archangel Gabriel is the messenger archangel, and Arch Archangel Gabriel is also the archangel who toots her horn to let you know that um, you need to get off your butt and get doing what you need to be doing. So um, that so those are some aspects of the the water the water element. We also have the you know love. And again, we're talking about the, the emotions. So there's love, but there's also death. Um, he, we talked about healing, or I mentioned healing, dreaming, um, internal things, subconscious things, um, and social. So so social, some um, just all of those things that go on in, internally for us any feminine emotions, any feminine qualities, that, that's all associated with water. Um, people that are the water signs, I mentioned Cancer earlier, there's also Pisces and there's also Scorpio. So those are, those are the three water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So if you think about the people that you know that, that are those signs, and you think about the the emotions that they bring into it. They're either like go 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 go, and they thrive under pressure, and or they have that um, sometimes that that very high emotion where um, you can just feel the energy amp up as soon as they walk into the room. Um, so that's that's the wa the water sign or the water element. Um, the water element has to do with the with fall or autumn or fall and the belly chakra or the sacral chakra and you think about that if it, those of you who know who are familiar with your chakras that that also makes sense because the sacral chakra is all about your emotions um uh, your desires your um your your willpower your your will um or willpower i should just say and what you what you really your carnal passions and what you strive for so that is the water element the next element that i'm going to talk about is the earth element the earth element is, sim is symbolic of the north direction and the animal the buffalo um and if you think about earth and, and again i i keep saying this all makes sense because it really does make a lot of sense when you think about it. You think about the earth, you think about your stability, you think about your abundance, your prosperity, your physical manifestations, um, fertility even, uh, so your sustenance, your birth, giving birth, life. Um, all of these things are associated with the with the earth element. Um, it, so earth is also associated with grounding some of us really need to work on grounding especially if you've ever pulled your astrological chart and you see that you don't have a lot of earth signs which i am one of those people it um you really need to work on grounding a lot you can come across as spacey you can come across as um just not not organized sometimes or you can be easily distracted. So that just means that you need to ground and you need to have a lot of earth around you wearing the earth colors or um, like the, the browns and the tans and the dark forest greens. Um, so earth is about stability, dependabil dependability, and strength. You think about those earth signs that you know around you, the Taurus, the Virgo, the Capricorns, um, some of those Taurus people, they're very slow moving. They, when they put in their roots, they put them in deeply and you have to kind of just gently prom them to get to where they're going. And Taurus are known, you know, the, their, their sign is the bull. So think about the bull, um, stubborn, but can be hot tempered. And that, that has a lot to do with the earth too. Um, the earth, the chakra associated with earth 
is the root chakra, um, which also makes sense with the grounding, that red, um, the red color with the root chakra and, and grounding and just feeling stable and stomping those feet on the ground. So um, let's see, what else do I have for earth? Archangel Uriel and Archangel Ariel are the archangels associated with earth. Um, Archangel, Ur Archangel Uriel, now I'm getting them confused. Archangel Uriel is the one that is in charge of um, like natural disasters and thunder and lightning. So natural disasters would be the flooding, the tornadoes, the hurricanes, um, typhoons, um, and again, the thunder and the lightning. And Ariel is known for, I know for sure, is courage, but also all of those little earth, um, earthly related things as well. Um, and the weather, not the weather, the season associated with earth is winter. So think of, you know, think about that, the, the hardness, the sustainability, the, the life, um, the, the being able to control your life and be, um, uh, very grounded and well-rounded to be responsible for yourself. That has to do with the earth sign too. So if you wanted some earth signs or earth um, elements on your altar, you could use a lot of the minerals like stones, different crystals and stones and mineral like rocks to represent the earth um, on your altar. Uh, to represent water on your altar besides actual water, you could use shells. So that way it's something that you could take with you to make a little temporary altar if you're traveling or what have you. Um, air is the next element. And with air, we have, um, it's associated with the east and the eagle. And air is all about communication. It's about knowledge and thought and wisdom and education. And when you're, you're thinking about thinking about thinking or just thinking, um, you know, using your powers of the mind. Archangel Raphael is the Archangel of Air. And our, I, he's also um, he's also the Archangel of Healing. So that's, that's good to know as well. Um, the three air signs are Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. And you think about that, air, when there's an abundance of it, it's, it's you know, it, like I said, it can be, you can be sp spacey. You can be very um, attention uh, distracted. Your attention is distracted easily. Um, and you're just, you know, you need to be grounded. So there has to be that balance. So if there's too much air, there's the spaciness. If there's not enough, you don't feel like your life is sustained if there's not enough air in your life. Um, so sometimes you have to make, you know, you just have to throw open that window and make that air come in yourself or roll down the window as you're driving. Think, so think about that and think about um, how air works for you in your circumstances or at this particular time in your life. Sometimes it's just a, a general thing that's happening, like right, right at this moment with specific things that are going on. Um, so... It, it, air is about breathing and and being able to catch your breath and um, it's it's about your heart chakra too so air is associated with it with the heart chakra um, and spring would be the the season that air is associated with as well so um, that is air and are there any questions about anything okay we have an email question here from a oh let me see if I can read that an email question from a Donna and Donna just wants to know if I could just give her a general um, a general read of what's going on in her life right now. So let's see what's going on. Oh, 
Let me see. Okay, and she wants me to, oh, should she buy the house? So that's kind of like, that's kind of two questions, but let's see what's going on here. First, the general thing, what's going on in her life right now, so any general advice. And should she buy the house? So let's see what we have here. Donna. All right. Okay, Donna, the answer, the answer to you for um, buying the house is, is yes. Um, the first card here is the dream big card. So I'll just show that to you. And it's dream big. And um, that would definitely be an answer of yes, buy that house. Um, let me just make sure it's that house that you're, that you have in mind right now. If it's if it's that it feels like it's about a three bedroom, two to three bedroom. Um, it's like an unconventional unconventional house, so I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure it means something to you. Yes, buy the house. So if you see here, my three my three cards here, that would indicate a definite yes in buying in buying the house. Um, the next card here is talking about how you're you're a powerful healer. It's the healing heart card, and that card is base, The card itself says that um, you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work, but it also means that you're very good at healing. So if people are coming to you right now for advice, or if you're just um, a good person to to listen, um, that's very good at listening. And I see I see here. Um, that you are so that's good um you're saying you are people have been coming to you a lot um definitely definitely um keep up the good work and just know that you're you're when this card comes up i always tell my clients your your words mean more than you realize and i'm also getting that you you just really need to focus on on healing yourself too so there's that the next one is hello from heaven and it's Archangel Azrael's card. And it's just the saying, you know, what it means. Hello from heaven. Your, the, um, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. And this last card here is the Clairvoyance card. And the Clairvoyance card, when that comes up, it means that um, pay attention to the things that you're seeing recurringly. And um, your Clairvoyance is getting stronger. So pay attention. And clairvoyance, for those of you who aren't aware of what clairvoyance is, it's basically when you can see, um, it helps you help see things that might not necessarily be there. For example, when I was just talking to um, Donna earlier, I mentioned her um, seeing a house that was an unconventional house that was a two or three bedroom, um, and it, it just feels smaller than than usual so I saw it and then I felt it so that is something that um, has to do with clairvoyance is, is seeing things or picturing things that aren't necessarily right in front of you so if nobody else has any questions today I'm going to end um, this session or some show for today and it was a pleasure talking to you and um, answering your question for you Donna and if anybody has any questions about anything, you can always give us a call at the store here at 239-939-3339. And again, I'm Crystal Childs, and I'm one of the resident readers. I do palms, playing cards, and um, oracle card readings. And I also make jewelry and candles, and I can custom make anything that you need as well. So... Take care, be blessed, and have a great day. Bear with me as I turn this off.